Okay guys, so we're going through a pass with very tight turns. Very difficult with a lot of bike like that. Check it out. Yes, good and morning. Say good morning to everybody. Yeah. Are you gonna say good morning? <laughs> ah, let me check what's going on first. Summer. Oh. It's amazing. Yes, we're gonna be doing the uh, the Hepco Bike uh, Explorers. All right. Uh, I should have done this review like you know some time ago, but you know it's better late than never. So let me drink a little bit of coffee. Um, we've been through these have been through a lot with us. All right, I'm gonna tell you a couple of tips. First of all, uh, this one was like bent, the big one. Okay, uh, this is like 40, and this is a 30. So. I straighten up. I'm gonna show you that, how to do it, because you know I start searching around for, you know, body shops and stuff like that, and that some people they replace the whole aluminum, and uh, you know what? I didn't want to cut it off and everything. It's gonna probably getting water inside, it, you know. So I did it myself, and I'm gonna show you how. And I saved the money. They ask for like 150, 200 bucks to straighten up this one okay the ones i had before they are very was very durable there was like we dragged the bike on them but these they look much much better i love them and also the left one is a little bit more narrow because the muffler so i like them a lot and much lighter than the ones i had before all right so let's get started so on the top i have put uh these popular straps the rock and they are very convenient believe me I have we put here we tied our uh, uh, rain suits okay the uh, the Gore-Tex the BMW ones the pens we put them up here and they hold pretty good uh, these they have been tried for uh, over 10,000 kilometers these little things here all right they might be expensive but i highly recommend them also i have a couple of straps here for i can put you know more stuff these are just you know regular tie-on straps and everything and of course we have our stickers from you know paso stelvio paso Sella, amazing stelvio unbelievable go see the videos which on youtube and uh, Paso Bordeaux, extreme beautiful. So I didn't want to put any more uh, stickers in here. And Rose, my wife, put the, uh, the the flower that grows in the Alps. Okay, but uh, you know, I think once in a lifetime you have to do these three passes, like Bordeaux, Sella, and Stelvio. And there is more, I know, but uh, you know, and Gavia too, you know. But anyway, let's go back. So one thing about, I like about these uh, panniers is, look, check it out. You pick it up and you take it off. All right. <laughs> is that nice or what? It locks. It has a locking mechanism right here. All right. So you can take it completely off if you want to. And, you know, I like that uh, because I can, you know, put a lot of stuff there. And if you can put it back in like that like it and it doesn't go nowhere all right it's very simple of course it has the hepco becker lock that it's impossible for somebody to break in on this one yes i've been using a hepco becker for like near five years now i have it on a harley too so extremely good quality a little bit expensive but you know what it's worth the price look at the locking system here i'm going to show you the tricks on that because something has to do with the tank and the spacers very important if you're going to buy a hepco bigger 
just put, uh, you know, just watch this video because I'm going to show you the trick here. Once, back like a year and a half ago, I lost one. All right, not this type, the black one. It's on YouTube, you can see what happened because I didn't put the spacer here. All right, so let's go back into that. And uh, another thing is, this is my USB. When we charge stuff, I connect this to the bike and I just drop it in there on the top and I put all the electronics on the road. GoPro batteries, phones, whatever you can think of, we charge with this little thing here, all right? Two USB. And I put an extension with another five USB and I just drop them there and we charge them on the road, all right? Okay, on this one I have also a, a heavier duty strap on this one. This is just one, all of it, all right? And it goes like that. So we usually here we put the, um, we carry water on the road, you know, like the, the camera bag we put here uh, for long trips. So we have two liters of water, uh, so we don't get hydrated and uh, a little tube here so me and Rose can drink on the road, all right? That's why this, this trap is a little bit different. So that uh, water thing, it just stays here permanently. All right, so this is about the same thing. You can remove it from here, all right, and put it back. And on this one, we always have, uh, she has this kind of like, you know, napkins here. And we we'll always have here our chairs, except sometimes we use this as a cooler, all right? Yes, we put like, you know, ice and beer and steaks and stuff and a little barbecue that we carry. You, you can see it on um, one of the episodes in uh, the Italy trip, the Italy tour, okay? You can see that, how we do that. Yes, we can barbecue, we can grill. It's a little grill. We can barbecue on the road because I love barbecue. So we stay on the beach, on the river, or on a remote place, on the forest or something. I'm gonna show you how to put them on the bike and everything. Okay, and we have to maintain the locks, lubricate them. And of course, I use inside the mechanism a little bit W40. All right. Okay, guys, let me show you how I fix this one. I'm gonna put a couple pictures and links so you can see what, how bent was that? That was like all the way back here. All right. Okay, so you can see the damage here. The bike fall on the side. We just tap to fix the GPS on the side of the road in the Dolomites. And uh, it's all the way in. It's like uh, deep, like about three fingers. You can see it here when we stop on the Harley Davidson in Italy. And you can see it here too. You can see actually the corner, it's in. And I was able to bring it back. And uh, they have asked me, uh, I couldn't find a professional to, you know, really do that nicely. And, uh, you know, I just found a couple of guys, they asked like, you know, 150 to 100 bucks. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't trust them. You know, it was like another guy for like 50 or something. And you know what? I decided to do it money on. So how I did it, right? Uh, let me show you. You get two planks, okay? It doesn't have to be the ones I have here. They can be a little bit different. All right? You put one on the bottom 
Make sure it will not be wider than the curves here. It will touch the bottom. You see what I'm talking about? All right, let me see. If you can see it, okay, make sure it here it's a, it's a curve. You see that? And it's another curve over here. All right, make sure that's not wide enough. Just cut it and it will be flat onto the bottom completely. Otherwise, you're going to be building this side too. And you don't want to, all right? And then into the game, this two-tone hydraulic fro uh, floor jack, all right? Yes, there's no way you can do it by hand. So you're putting the front wheels onto that, okay? And nice and easy, you go left and right, it depends where you're, you use also different planks, all right? You can use different sizes of this plank on the top, all right? Or you can use some, whatever you feel like it, all right? And you start like this, and you start straightening up, okay? You see already? You see that? All right? I don't want to pressure it right now because it's fine. Okay, so this is how you straighten up your panniers. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so you go little by little, left and right. You can use different kind of, uh, you know, planks like that, different sizes for the top. It depends what your bent is. You can actually do the corners too. Yes, I have a bent in the corner. And uh, I straighten up, like, you know, right here. You see that? You see that? That was all the way in. So little by little, you can straighten up. And if you have a couple of scratches and everything, all right, just put a couple of stickers. It's not a really big deal. Okay? All right. All right. That's how I did it. Don't be afraid to work on your bike. Watch, watch a, a lot of YouTube and I, I have a lot of videos there. You can go see, you, if you have a Beamer, go see the 100,000 uh, uh, kilometer service that I have done on that and I haven't finished yet. I'm going to do a couple more episodes, but it's a major service. You just really have to look at it. It's on the playlist. All right, so let's go put them on the bike to see how they go. I have uh, Rose fill up this one because usually here goes our clothes and everything. All right, then I just pick it up. Let's see how difficult it is. All right, as you see, this is the locking mechanism right here right here and it's very important this space here the spacer as you can see there's a spacer here all right also these are the quick release uh from hepco becker the racks that i have but i have locked them on a, in a special way that nobody can really steal them you put your key inside and everything and then you just lay it on into into the tube check it out you see that all right you just lay it out here and do you see the tank right here you bring it you slide it to the left till this insert goes into the tube okay so let's see that that goes there and as you can see the tank the tank is already touching the spacer you put the tank in here, you have insert into the tube, the left side of the base, all right? And then over here, the tank is touching the spacer. Very important, all right? Then, you just do that, all right? I can, you know, trust me, it doesn't go nowhere. We have, put, we have loaded a lot of things on this, uh, on this pan here, all right? Make sure it rotates and then, we just touch that, let's say it's full and heavy, right? So you just pick it up and you lay it here. And that's all you do, really. Okay, then it goes by itself. Look, it goes inside. It goes to the tank, it goes into the tube. 
and then you hear that click and it doesn't go anywhere all right and here is the power then i told you before of course it's disconnected from the inside of the bike on a relay right now so i don't have to worry about uh, you know getting a sort of something all right so what do you think they're extremely i love them the only thing is like they're, they're not as heavy duty as the ones i have before you know what i don't care because i fix it I was a little bit disappointed when the bag dropped on the side and we have actually bent this one. Oh, sorry, I found a way to straighten up, okay? So, thanks for watching another video. I want to thank all my fans and uh, on my motorcycle uh, information highway. This is what I call uh, my YouTube because I also watch a lot of other people uh, like you uh, channels and I learn also on the process of the motorcycling or whatever we do. We also do cabbing, four-wheel driving and stuff, and we love it. We love the Nazi, okay? I highly recommend them. The Explorer, all right? It's like this. And also, the back seat that I made for Rose. Look how comfortable this is. See you later. Thanks.